morning everybody welcome to the channel tonight on walking taiwan we're going to be heading from the house to Shidat night market time and temperature check saturday night about 7 p.m and 60 degrees without further ado let's get started some of you may be wondering the glaring lines that you see here on the side of the road in some areas it would be the designated sidewalk area on the street uh, you'll find it more in the uh, alley sections or the larger alley sections uh, throughout the city. So just pointing that out to you guys. We'll be walking into or entering into the Shidad market area right now. It's made up of various blocks going north and south and east and west. This is a smaller local uh, night market. It's not one of the big famous ones that most tourists go to. This would be more of a neighborhood type. Uh, it's also fairly close to the large university. So there's a lot of students in this area as well. These local night markets are a mixture of more uh, traditional or shops, less uh, street type of vendors. Uh, it's gonna be a mixture of retail uh, stores, uh, local neighborhood stores, convenience stores, and of course, restaurants and uh, street vendors. We're on one of the, the main uh, I guess the main sections goes uh, north and south, and then it has these alleyways that go uh, east and west, and they go about three blocks in each direction, east and west, and it's probably about six blocks, maybe a little longer, uh, going north and south. And we're gonna kind of just zigzag around, take a look at, this would be what we consider the main drag of the night market.
Also, fun fact, it is okay to have an open container of alcohol and walk the city streets. So you will see some vendors in these small uh, condensed market areas that serve uh, beer to go. And you can drink it as you walk. Most of the markets in these areas too will have a lot of English. So if you're a tourist, don't worry about it. You, me how? It's really easy to uh, get around. Order, shop. Um, most of the vendors will have a, at least some English. Tapanaki Grill. In the United States, these are usually marketed as high-end restaurants like Benihana, but here in Taiwan, this is more of a uh, local street, inexpensive type of restaurant and food. Very good, usually. You won't get a fancy show, though. Yeah, no, I'm just filming. You want to know where the best vendors are? See where all the people are. Long line here. Taiwanese fried chicken. Probably known as a local favorite due to the crowd size here. Food Panda is like a Taiwan version of Uber Eats. This is kind of like a food court. Hot pot restaurant to our right, hot pot restaurant to our left. Here's another place that probably serves what we got? Latin soy braised food. This is probably a type of meat and rice dish. Let's see if we can check it out. Big crowd, must be good. As far as Nightmaker goes, compared to the large famous ones, this is very small, very localized, but still very popular. So when you order here, you order your different ingredients and then they will cook it up for you. It's been established since 1984. Doing very good business. Also a local phenomenon are the claw machines. Very popular in Taiwan. 
It's popular with not only the kids, but the adults. They're relatively inexpensive to set up and they turn good money per hour. They have low employee cost. Oh, looks like another favorite up here. Long line. Let's see what they're serving. Oh, Hong Kong egg waffles. You can see these in one of my other videos. It's a type of Taiwan waffle and has little pockets and they stuff it with different types of uh, dessert items. We'll have to continue heading south to get to the second market. So we're going to cut right through the main drag of Shidad Night Market and continue on to our next destination. Steam it right there for you. 